Hi there. I will show you an exciting, practical, and utterly free technique in this video. Previously, you might have spent hours tweaking lighting, colors, and styles in software like Photoshop. But now, with just a few clicks, you can achieve stunning results in no time. That's right. Using the powerful AI of Stable Diffusion and the IC Light Extension, I'll guide you through how to transform the lighting, colors, and style of your images while perfectly preserving their original structure and details. Stay with Scalura. In a previous video, linked in the description, I explained how to install Stable Diffusion on the Forge UI interface. If you don't already have Stable Diffusion on your computer, I recommend watching that video first. Once you've installed it, come back here to continue with this tutorial. First, you'll need to install the IC Lite extension, which is super easy. Start by visiting the extension's GitHub page. I've included the link in the video description. On the GitHub page, click the code button and copy the repository link. Now, open Forge UI. Navigate to the Extensions tab. Paste the copied link into the Install from URL field and click Install. Wait a moment for the installation to complete. Once installed, you should see the extension added to your list. Next, you'll need to download the models for this extension. Head back to the GitHub page. Go to the Getting Started section and click on Releases. Download the two model files listed there. I've already downloaded them earlier. After downloading, navigate to the folder where Forge UI is installed on your computer. Create a new folder inside the model's directory and name it IC Lite. Move the downloaded model files into this folder. That's it. Finally, relaunch the Forge UI and you're good to go. You can access the IC Lite extension from the text to image or image to image tabs under the generation panel. To start using it, you'll need to enable it here. You can select one of the two models you downloaded earlier in the mode section. Let me briefly explain these two models and what they can do. If you want to manually adjust the background of your image, use the FBC model. With this model, you can upload two images for the foreground and background, and the model will seamlessly combine them. On the other hand, you can use the FC model if you'd like Stable Diffusion to generate the background based on a prompt you provide, or if you don't want to change the background at all. Let's start with the FC model. First, I'll select my input image from this section. For the checkpoint, I'll use the Realistic Vision 5.1 model. I've provided a download link in the video description if you don't have this model. You can also use other models like Pixreal, but Realistic Vision tends to work better in most cases. In the prompt section, I'll type the lighting style I want. For example, rim lighting. Next, I'll adjust the width and height based on my input image. For the CFG scale, it's best to keep it between one and three. I'll set it to 2 for now. I'll leave sampling steps, sampling method, and schedule type as they are, and click Generate. Here's the initial result. As you can see, the lighting on the image has changed, transforming this input into this output. Now I'll try a different sampling method. 
I'll set the sampling method to Euler and schedule type to simple. Then click Generate again. Here's the new result. Keep in mind that the quality of the output depends heavily on the quality of your input image. The higher the quality of your input, the better the output will be. Let's change the background now. For example, to a neon lit street. If you don't want the background to change, go to this section and uncheck the background removal option. This time I'll change the hair color to red. I'll also add high contrast to the prompt to enhance the contrast. Let's see the result. It looks good, but I think the lighting is a bit too intense. To reduce the effect of the extension, I'll lower the CFG scale to 1.5. That's much better. You can also use predefined styles. For example, I'll search for a cinematic still here. To ensure the changes apply to this specific version of the image, I'll lock the seed by clicking this option. Let's try out some other prompts. Let's now test the FCB model. I'll switch the mode to FCB and select my background image from here. Next, I'll clear the prompt and styles, lower the CFG scale, and run the test. As you can see, it harmonizes the subject's lighting and colors with the background. However, this model might not always produce excellent results. It's often better to stick with the FC model for consistent outputs. Let's see how this extension works in the Image to Image tab. Things are a bit different here. First, I'll activate the extension. You'll notice there are a few additional options here. From this section, you can set the direction of the lighting. I'll select Top as the lighting direction. Choosing one of these options also generates a light map. Then, I'll select my input image from this section. I'll set the CFG scale to 1.5 and increase the denoising strength. I'll choose Euler for the sampling method and set the schedule type to simple. Of course, you can experiment with other methods to see which works best for your needs. Finally, I'll enter my prompt and click Generate. The initial result isn't imposing, so I'll refine my prompt and test it again. Now, the result looks much better. I'll set the lighting direction to left this time and adjust the prompt. I'll also slightly lower the CFG scale. The results are excellent. Let's try this on a product image where we want to change the background and lighting. I'll select this headphone image and set the lighting direction to the right. I'll also input my prompt. If you want to preserve all the fine details in your subject, like text or numbers, just enable the Restore Details option. Let's test it. I think it performed well. Let's do a few more tests to explore its capabilities further.
If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to Scalura so you can access future tutorials.